This is what you call a Pokemon card dispenser. I picked up an entire case of the Binder Collection and we're going to fill this up with 151. Welcome to Cyforce X. Today we're doing something really cool. I'm sure many of you have already watched unboxing videos of the new 151, binder collection, booster bundles, all that kind of stuff. And today we're going to open up all six of these boxes, these binder collection boxes, all three of these booster bundles, and we're going to add them into this dispenser. This is a trading card dispenser that you can basically display packs, you can pull packs from the bottom. So what I want to do is throughout the holiday season just have packs here and there that I can open. Um, kind of to get that itch out of the way to open packs. I kind of want to pace myself this year instead of opening like hundreds and hundreds of packs uh, every month. So we're going to load them in here. We are going to see if they all fit. I know there's 24 and then 18. So they might not fit into one. We might have to split it up into two, which is pretty cool. I mean, this is a really great set. Um, let me know what you guys think about 151. Do you like it? Uh, what kind of pulls have you pulled out of it? Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be really fun. Let's try it out. All right. So we are going to start with the Binder Collection and Yes, I might bore you all with me just opening them. Maybe I'll speed it up. These are like really, really well sealed, you know? So I opened some 151 um, already a few days ago. And uh, let me tell you, it has not been the kindest set to me. I haven't pulled a single really rare card. Just a few EXs and... Uh, yeah, a few EXs. That's pretty much it. Wigglytuff, Kangaskhan, uh, da, 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 Alkazam. Yeah, just those ones. So we got our fresh 151 packs right there. That's really cool. We're going to uh, try to be as neat as possible so we can recycle these boxes properly. And there is the binder right there. It's going to leave the binder just in front. That's really cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open all these and then we're going to load it up into the dispenser. Turns out we don't need the knife. Just use our hands uh, as long as we don't care about the status of the box. So there we go. There are all our goods. This is, I think, probably the best value um, for product, just because the binder, don't underestimate the binder. It may not say Ultra Pro on it, but it is a high quality binder. The front feels very high quality, it feels really nice. And you have the uh, side loading pages in black, just on the inside. So that's really impressive. I wonder if um, Pokemon partnered up with Ultra Pro, but they allowed themselves to not put Ultra Pro on the branding, just put Pokemon in the branding. Um, yeah, they're really cool binders. I usually use 24 pocket binders, uh, but for this set, and to make it look all nice, I'm going to use these binders. I'm thinking maybe I'll do a binder for English, a binder for the Japanese set, which I only need three cards to complete that. The SAR Erica, the Charizard, and the Full Art Erica. Those are the only cards I need from 151 Japanese, and I want to complete the Semi Master set because we all know there's the Impossible Pokeballs, Master Balls, that you have to also complete, which that will take some time, but hopefully one day I'll be able to go to Japan and just splurge on a whole bunch of Master Balls. All right, so we're almost done opening these binder collections. Now, these are really cool. Oh, man. A whole case. I'm expecting some pretty good pulls out of a whole case because you know that this case, K 
came straight from the factory. You know, maybe it was part of the uh, lucky batch that only have SARs. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. We probably don't. They probably don't have that. All right, we're almost done. We got our last Bible collection right here. Crack that open. Now, fun tip too, I might consider selling a few of these binders because you can sell them for $12, $50 Canadian and that basically brings your pack value down to about $4.50 to $4, which if you buy the booster packs separately, they're like $9 a pack, $9 a pack. So it's almost like getting 50% off. Um, and I mean, it's a high quality binder, so it's not like people are getting ripped off. Oh, you're just selling binder. They're, they're great, really great binders. Um, and I almost prefer the uh, the flexible kind of binders instead of like the hard plastic ones. Uh, so that is the booster collection there. We're gonna open that up. Ooh, small packs, small packs. Almost done. All right, so, and if you're new to my channel, uh, basically I do Pokemon videos, I do unboxing videos. Um, been recently getting into Beyblades, which is really cool. Beyblades has been um, a childhood hobby of mine. And uh, now with the new generation of Beyblade X, um, if you haven't heard of that, uh, check it out. It's fast paced. It is no longer rated eight years and over. It's 13 years and over because of how like intense and how crazy the battles can get. So. Check that out. Um, check that out here on my channel. I'll be opening up a whole bunch of Beyblade X products. Um, yeah. So, let's see. We got our six binders right here. That's pretty cool. And so now I'm going to show you how to load this thing. Um, I'm just going to take a whole bunch of packs. We're going to pick one pack that looks kind of the best. I'm just going to put that right here and then you'll see that there's a spot where we can just load the packs. So I'm going to load them up this way so that they're uh, easy and accessible. That's a nice spot, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a whole stack. 151. All right, so now we're going to go to ditch this side. I'm just gonna put that just here. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find a really nice pack, put that in front. And then we're gonna take these. There we have it. Check this out, you guys. Look at that. That's so cool. So we have Pokemon 151. We have about a little over 30 packs uh, just here. And so when I'm like, oh, you know what? Why don't we open a pack right now? I believe that these give you extra luck. So I'm just going to pick one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to pick. See? Whoop. Just like that there, there we go. We got our first pack of 151. Let's crack this open, see what we get inside. Let's see if this dispenser luck is gonna kick in right away. Code card for you guys. First card to the front and we have a energy. All right, we got energy, Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Old Amber. Kijioto, Nidorito, Executor, Graveler, Rigid Band, Ratatata, and Chensi. All right, no first pack magic, but rest of pack magic, how's that? All right, well, if you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow my channel for Pokemon content, Beyblade content. I will be cracking these open and I'll show you guys exactly what I opened from all those binder collections and booster bundles. Uh, so yeah, with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.